so far. Well, last night, as you just saw, the Greek Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras tried to explain the situation to the Greek people, tried to uh, take away the fear that a no vote next Sunday would mean an automatic exit of the euro, uh, taking into account uh, all the messages that have been coming from eurozone leaders saying that they will not let the single currency collapse. Um, but. Um, the, the words from the Greek Prime Minister have somewhat fallen on deaf ears given that Eurozone leaders are sticking to the proposal they've put on the table. We don't have long to go now before Greece's bailout expires and uh, Athens is due to pay the IMF. So it all hangs in the balance in the coming hours. We might see in some miraculous event both sides come together to try and renew talks about the proposal. Now, for our viewers who have not understood the whole story, you know, from where it started, how did Greece get into this kind of a problem to begin with? Well, first of all, Greece has been on a Eurozone, an international lifeline uh, for the past several years. And in the last five months um, since Syriza, the leftist party, came to power and was elected, pledging to end austerity that has uh, caused a lot of unemployment in the country, deep, deep reforms to public spending and budget cuts. They've been locked into, uh, they've been locked in talks with Eurozone creditors over just how the next bailout program is going to take shape. Greece has a huge mountain of debt and all sides agree that it all has to be worked out in a new way. But what Eurozone creditors uh, have been stubborn and adamant about is that Greece needs to reform its economy. It needs to reform its pension system in order for those creditors uh, to see value in the loans they're handing to Athens. Um, but of course, both sides are now digging their heels and these negotiations have become so politically fraught that it uh, is seeming less and less likely that they'll come to an agreement and we're approaching the biggest risk ever that Greece will uh, default on its uh, debts and exit the single currency. Now, opposition, you know, leaders have, you know, came out against, of course, Alexis um, Tsipras saying that perhaps it's a strategy to get out of the Eurozone. He, of course, in turn, Alexis Tsipras said that, no, Greece is part of Europe. We are part of Eurozone. There's no way we would intentionally want to, you know, come out of the Eurozone. But this affects mostly, you know, Greek citizens. But what are ordinary uh, citizens then saying about the situation? Well, it's, it's interesting because... Uh, the Syriza party, the leftist government in power, has all the while been trying to protect pensioners, in particular those poorest uh, members of society in Greece. And at the moment, the capital controls that have been put in place to save the Greek banking system from collapse are hurting the pockets of those that need the cash most. Withdrawals at the moment are... are being limited to 60 euros daily and pensioners have not been able to take out money. So, of course, this has been a huge blow politically for Syriza. It seems that this morning uh, pensioners are being allowed to take more uh, cash out than ordinary citizens. But, of course, the Greek economy, the Greek banking system is really in dire straits and we don't know how much longer it's going to be able to keep up. It's on an emergency loan program from the European Central Bank, but until that referendum is held on Sunday, we just don't know how much cash is left in the coffers of Greek banks. And I mean, should you know, decisions lead to the exit of Greece from Eurozone, how would that exit then affect the Eurozone economies, in your opinion? Well, Eurozone leaders, ever since this referendum was called last week, have been saying that there are contingency plans in place, that the European economy is much better placed since uh, the Eurozone financial crisis of 2008 to uh, weather the storm of a potential Greek default. Uh, the banking system has been shored up and overall Eurozone economies uh, could potentially uh, take the hit, although the single currency would be severely undermined because, of course, it would mean that the euro is reversible and that one of the members uh, could uh, leave at any point and that the single currency's architecture is just not as firm as investors would like to see. So everyone is doing everything possible to keep Greece in the euro, but it's a matter of, uh, of honoring payments. And if the eurozone creditors believe that they are bending too far to accommodate Greece, the euro will simply lose its integrity.
Now, now Sandra, we also understand that Greece, of course, is waking up to a second day of closed banks as the country, of course, prepares to hold a referendum on the terms of an international bailout deal. Now, what is the referendum about that is happening later this week? Well, the referendum later this week uh, was uh, essentially the Greek Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras handing the baton of uh, the bulk of decision making when it comes to accepting the proposal on the table that was put forward by Eurozone creditors, by the IMF, by the ECB, handing that over to the Greek people saying, look, you elected us on the premise that we would say no to more austerity, but these are the conditions that they've given us. Will you accept this or not? Because perhaps if you don't, we might might leave the, the euro currency, and that was not part of the Saritza campaign. So uh, the Greek government really wants to buy time. They've asked for several extensions to their current bailout program in order for this referendum to be held. The question on the table is quite complex, but it essentially asks the Greek people to consider the proposal creditors have offered and, and vote yes or no as to whether they will accept those conditions. Arguably, and European leaders have said this, the Greek people simply don't understand what they are voting for. And I put it quite simply to them, if you vote yes, uh, you keep Greece in the euro and we can work out a solution. Perhaps not with the Syriza government in power, though, who have been campaigning no this entire time. And if you vote no, this will mean the start of Greece's exit from the euro. Sandra, a pleasure talking to you this morning. Thank you so much for your time. Now, that was our correspondent, Sarah Gathman Gonzalez, of course, updating us on the latest that is occurring in Greece. As you know, of course, Greece is waking up to its second day of closed um, banks as the country prepares to hold a referendum on the terms of the international bailout deal. Now, we understand that both, of course, Greek government and the Eurozone creditors say their door is still open for talks. And uh, we'll, of course, be understanding and just following that story to get to the crack of it and understand what is going to happen to Greece at the end of the day. Are they coming out of the Eurozone or are not? But of course, AMUs will continue to update you. But let's move